Hi, I'm Meg Medina, or you may know me as your book friend. I wrote this book and this book and these books. In fact, my writing is what led me to become the National Ambassador for Young People's Literature. I even have this cool medal from the biggest library in the world to prove it. Right now, I'm in the Young Readers Programs Lab. Along with the Library of Congress and reading champions, Every Child a Reader, I'm talking with kids like you about the books and stories that excite you. So today, I'm here to add to the library's collections with this new video project called Let's Talk Books. Let's Talk Books will make room for you and the works that are made for you. The series gives you space to discover new authors, new ideas, new books to read. Today, I'm talking with author Wendy Wen Long Shang, who wrote this book and this book and this book. Let's meet Wendy. So Wendy, Let's Talk Books is about connecting through books and book talking. And when somebody book talks, they tell us about their passions and interests. So I was wondering, would you be willing to do a book talk for us? Absolutely. I am talking today about You Are Here Connecting Flights. And I can't bear to make, like, I can't bear to choose just one author. So I picked one with 12. And a fun fact about me, I hate flying, but I love airports. I love the energy and I love like people watching and making up stories about people. And what I love about You Are Here is that it's the, from the perspective of 12 kids stuck at an airport in Chicago and they all have their own story and they see each other at different points throughout the story. What they learn is that they all have something in common, even if they don't all know each other by name. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, it has some of the biggest names in Asian American literature. And so if you've been waiting to read uh, Linda Sue Park, Ellen O, oh, um, Mike Young, I think this is like your chance to do it. So this is my choice for book talk. I love that book talk yes. and I love that book. I yes. have been reading it also. What's the part that hooked you the most about it? So what I really love is um, there's one character, AJ, by, uh, let me make sure I get his name, Randy Rabay. And he's on a basketball team, and but they're not really a team. Like he discovers that some of the other teammates are trash talking his friend, and he's figuring out how to talk to people. And I think the big takeaway for me was, you know, sometimes the hardest people to have hard conversations with aren't, aren't that stranger, you know, who is rude to you. It's actually people you think you should be able to depend on and you want to be in relationship with and working up the courage to have a conversation with them. So I love so much of your work, but one of my favorite, favorite books of all time was The Way Home Looks Right Now. And I'm wondering, like, which of your books is the most closely allied with things that happen in your life? Mm -hmm. I'm betting that it's this one. And, and I want to know, am I right? No, the way, home, the way Home Looks Now is deeply personal, but it actually didn't happen to me. It's like part of my family story, but The Secret Battle of Evan Powell is deeply personal to me. I want to just know what you were like as a kid when you were, a, were you a reader as a kid? Oh, oh my gosh, was I a reader. Okay, so I'm the daughter of immigrants. So things I am not allowed to do. I am not allowed to have sleepovers. I am not allowed to have my ears pierced. I can't go to a friend's house without having like a background clearance performed by my parents. But the library was my place of freedom. And then that was like the place my parents were willing to drop me off and like leave me. Liberty! Liberty, Yay! yeah. And I mean, they didn't care where I got my books from. You know, I, I, they didn't care if I stayed on the kid side or the adult side. So, you know, I'd come home with a stack of books feeling, you know, as rich as a king and, you know, and then just be like so happy for hours, just, you know, finding that comfortable spot on the floor, a little patch of sunshine and just reading away. Wendy, you're a treasure. And I'm so glad that we got to talk books. Thanks for being with me today.